This is Susan Bradley for Computer World. Just a quick video to show you how easy it is to do a repair install. First you come to the Windows Software Download site and you scroll down and you want to create Windows Installation Media. So you click on Download Tool Now and I'm going to save it and I'm going to open it. It's going to want to do a UAC takes a little bit of time to get things ready. And finally it comes up to the end user license agreement and you click accept. Again, it's getting a few more things ready. And I'm going to choose to say Create Installation Media. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to keep it the exact version of my machine. Next. And I'm going to select ISO file. And I'm going to save it someplace. Now in my case I've already done this ahead of time so I don't need to do it again. But that's the basic process to download what's called an ISO. Okay, now we're going on to the next step. So I've downloaded this ISO already and I want to do what's called a repair install over the top. So I'm going to double click on it so that it mounts that ISO and see how I've got this setup.exe. I'm going to click on that. Once again I'm going to get a UIC prompt. And this works from what's called a running operating system, meaning that my computer is Functional, it may have errors, specifically it usually has errors in Windows updating, throwing off unusual errors that we can't figure out how to fix. And so we're going to install over the top. And this is a feedback item, I'm going to unclick it just because. I'm going to hit next. We're going to wait for it to ask whether or not we want updates. And now it checks my PC and it goes through and makes sure I've got enough hard drive space. Now again, we're not, we're not making, this is not a clean install. We're going to keep everything on our system the way it is. We're going to click accept. And this is the, the important thing. You're going to see a screen next that's going to ask you what you want to keep. And by the way, this is, takes a little bit longer than what I'm showing. I'm pausing it in between so you don't have to wait for all these screens but you kind of get the idea. So here's the button we want to make sure is checked that keep personal files and apps. And we don't want to see if you see anything else but that you want to stop the process because it's not working the way it's supposed to. So that keep personal files and apps, everything will stay exactly the same. Once again, I'm not doing this in real time. I'm pausing in between so you kind of get the idea. And then finally you get to the final screen and this point to click install, it would go again, do a repair install over the top. So that's my recommended way. If you have a Windows 10 machine who is misbehaving, who is throwing off unusual error codes and DISM doesn't work and SFC scan now doesn't work. This is what I do to do a what's called a repair install over the top. It's the easiest way to make sure that your system gets back into healthy condition. Till next time, this is Susan Bradley.